looking for some hot yeah. garbage. <laughs> Anyone got a light? Name. My name's Jackie the Chipmunk, and me and my sex. Uh oh, does that look okay. like long? Yeah. Contestants, how you doing? Welcome to our show. Why don't you tell me how many people are? So you're playing with yourself, huh? Cookie, please. Sorry. Gotcha. Thirty seconds. Okay, there. Heads up. Your buzzer's letter B as in butcher shop. So, so I was like, well, do you want to? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm doing what you feel like doing. 20 seconds. Okay, 20 seconds. Pay attention here and don't screw it up. As soon as you yeah, think no, you know no, the I answer to a question, copy, buzz okay. in. Then you gotta hit the number that corresponds to the answer you want. You got that? Good luck. Okay, here we go. Lose the desktop. Okay, thank you. Um, go to black. That? Okay, okay. okay, guys, stand by. Eight weeks for delivery. Order today. the category that's Italian 1,000 bucks for a right answer all right let's get this ball rolling while ordering dinner at the local tennis themed Italian restaurant you see that your favorite item has been taken off the menu which item has been banned al dente shoes meatballs espresso grips or spaghetti racket boy these espresso grips sure help my tennis playing oh yeah oh boy I love playing tennis oh I can play tennis all day long if I had to hell <laughs> even if I didn't have to <laughs> and let's see the correct answer Spaghetti rackets, double-strung rackets which gave players excessive topspin and more power, were banned in 1977. And speaking of banned substances, I don't think that's oregano they're putting in the red sauce. Okay. Down! Question two! The category? In your face, songbird! And this one's gonna be worth $3,000. Get your eyes focused on the screen, here we go. If Karch Karai, Gabriella Reese, and Kent Steff has challenged these musical groups to a reverse mixed triples beach volleyball competition, who would qualify to play? J Wilson Phillips? Nah, they wouldn't qualify. Besides, Carney might ruin her wacky hat. <coughs> Let's take a look at the big money answer. In reverse mixed triples, you have to have men and women on your team, and you can have up to five players, so the B-52s would qualify. Yeah, just like in high school, Jack's picking on the band geeks. All right, come on, hit me. Three! The category is baseball shorthand and teen angst. This question's worth $2,001 bills. All right, pay attention. Here comes the question. If Holden Caulfield from the novel The Catcher in the Rye were a baseball catcher, which number would a scorekeeper use to identify him? Two. Number six. Sorry, that's a shortstop in the rye. Well, I guess he had to go tinkle. <laughs> this is the correct answer. Number two. Only instead of a catcher's mask and a chest protector, Holden prefers simply to wear a straight jacket. Cat And the category is, what the hell, we're in prison anyway, and this one's going to be worth $2,000. Get ready to buzz, because here it comes. If incarcerated felons wanted to tick off the authorities by playing an illegal sport during their breaks in the prison courtyard, what would they need to have smuggled into the prison? A medicine ball, sabers, and metal tip lawn darts were outlawed in the United States in 1988. <laughs> but hey, I know where you can score some, like really cheap. How about it? Hit me with that. Next, you owe me five. This one's gonna be... Would you like to see the baby pictures? A right answer will get you two G's for this question. Hey, aren't parents funny the way they always brag about their kids' accomplishments? Well, you probably don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Just kidding. Here we go. Let's say Peter and Anton Stastny's mom brags to her neighbors constantly about her son's hockey abilities. Which of the following could she truthfully say to them? My boys are the two tallest NHL players. Their father inspired the Stastny Cup. Each boy had eight points in the same game, or they're identical to... Hey, who are you? 
Rongy Rongerson? <laughs> Let's take a look at the correct answer. Each boy had eight points in the same game, and their mom will be glad to show you the pictures. Right, Mommy? All right, come on. Uh-oh, mess butt tit slime chore. It's time for a Tinker Lake Test Run. All right, now here's your category for this gibberish question. Donna, the thief of hefty Norwegians. The opening value is 5,000 clammies. Now you're going to have about 30 seconds to solve this puzzle, but I'll be taking a little bit of money away every second and a half. All righty, tell me, what common sports saying does this rhyme with? Now don't let the punctuation fool you. Please, Donna, steal fat Inga Bjorni. Here's your first hint. You'd hear this after a big hit. Or you'd hear it after a big night of drinking. Sound like a familiar situation? He'll be sore tomorrow. Hurry up or you're gonna be hurting too. Oh, what a hit. Please Donna steal fat Inga Bjorning. Yeah, that's too bad. There are a lot of better things to feel in the morning. If you know what I mean. Okay. Under the rim with question seven. And this category is, if I had a nickel, the amount on the table is three grand. Wipe off your finger and get it ready. Let's get busy. If you had a nickel for each time one of the following events occurred, which would make you the most money? Billy Martin firings from the Yankees, Nolan Ryan. Sorry, Pete got to the All-Star game at five different positions. First, second, third, left, and right. So that's only 25 cents. Hey, give me 25 cents on red. <laughs> Here's what you should have guessed. Nolan Ryan pitched seven no-hitters during his career, and that gives you 35 cents. I don't even think that's enough for a sample pack of Advil. Celebrity voice impersonated. The category behind this question is, and she did it all in a little white skirt. And this one's going to be worth $1,000. For the life of me, I can't remember. Who's that tennis player? You know. She won that tennis championship in England more often than anyone. That singer with the wild glasses wrote a song about her. She beat that old guy in an ex- Billie Jean King. As of 1996, she won more combined singles and doubles titles at Wimbledon than any other player. <laughs> She beat Bobby Riggs in that famous battle of the sexes, and Elton John's Philadelphia Freedom is about her. Just thought you'd like to know. How about it? The German judge gives us... And the category is... I got your foot long right here. Okay, 2,000 bucks is coming your way if you get this one. Ready on the trigger? Pull. If a vendor in Yankee Stadium sells enough foot long hot dogs in one game to form a straight line from home plate to... Sha-bang! Yeah. 127 foot long hot dogs, which would also mean a banner day for the Pepto-Bismol vendor. Oh, excuse me. Category. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! The name of this category is... Why don't you just call me jerk face? Pop a right answer for this one, you got 3,000 greenbacks. Okay, coming at you. Heads up. Which of the following schools is not shown with its actual nickname? Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys, Kent University Hot Flashes, Hofstra College Flying Dutchman, or Presbyterian College Blue Hose? See ya! Anyone interested in the right answer? Here you go. Kent is actually the Golden Flashes. And in every picture of the basketball team, they've all got that red eye. Okay, that's the end of round one. Let's move on to round two. All right, this is round two, and two is twice one, which means all the questions are double. Sounds good, huh? Okay, let's do it. All right. Love. All right, let's see what we're doing here. I've got your package tour right here. And this is $4,000 here. So, you feeling anxious? Me too. Let's go.
On your next package tour, you find yourself camped out in left center field of Yankee Stadium. Where did you tell your dim-witted travel agent you wanted to go? The Grand Canyon, the Bermuda Triangle, Death Valley, or the East Bank? Yeah, the East Bank. Entertainment capital of the world. You know what you could have picked? You could have picked this. Since it's so far from home plate, left center field of Yankee Stadium is known as Death Valley. Isn't Jimmy Hoffa buried out there? How about it? Uh-oh, Tess Cuss hits Dime Store. Once again, it's time for a ticklish Tesco. Your category for this gibberish question is... Cruel and unusual punishment. And if you're really fast, you can get up to 10,000 bucks for this gibberish question. Okay, now remember, the faster you solve this puzzle, the more money you win. Tell me, tell me, with what common sports phrase does this rhyme? Neck tickle, rock grout. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It's a possible outcome. A possible outcome in a boxing match. Uh, is it a broken nose? It's a technical term. Hmm, what's the technical term for your time is running out? The Sinner! Try neck to go rock grout! Oh. Not big on boxing, huh? Oh. And 13, Here's your category. Mother throws best. I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. If U.S. soccer star Alexi Lawless is being coached from the sidelines by his mother, what motherly advice should she offer when he's about to perform a throw-in? Take as much time as you want, honey. Use both hands. Just turn your back to them. Or throw it in the goal, son. No, you're not allowed to score directly from a throw-in. Wrongy wrongerson. Let's see what a good player would have answered. In soccer, you must use two hands for a legal throw-in. But there are absolutely no hard and fast rules about washing behind your ears and going to bed early. Okay. Come on, ref. Who's falling? 14. 14. <coughs> Sit up. The category is touched football. All right, you're going to be pretty good if you get this one. It's worth 6,000 bucks. Imagine the village people performing their hit YMCA during a halftime show at the Super Bowl. While singing YMCA, the village people also do the famous dance. Which letter do they make with their arms during the dance that does not mimic a football official's signal? Y, M, C, or A? There is no football signal equivalent to the C. Unless you count the guy in the stands reaching down the aisle for a beer and a hot dog at the same time. Cat... Love 15. The category? Ice Cold NBA Draft. And we are talking 4,000 big ones. After a hard game of hoops, there's nothing better than winding down with a refreshing beer that has the bold taste of the NBA. If the NBA brewed its own brand of bottled beer named after overall first picks of the NBA draft, which one of the following beers could you enjoy? Ice Brew Danny Manning, Dominique Wilkins. In 92, the top pick was Shaq. And the only thing light about Alonzo are his stats in the playoffs. <laughs> Too bad you didn't pick this. Ice Brew Danny Manning, the number one draft pick of 1988, goes down smooth. Actually seems to go down for several months every season. <laughs> How about it? 16, 16, 16. And the category is? Yeah, I'll call you. And if you can figure this one out, I can pay you 4000 bucks. On your marks, get set, here's the question. If you went stag to the Amos Alonzo Stag Bowl, who might you be able to pick up and take home with you afterwards? The NCAA Division III football champ. No, nah, you don't want to go to the track and field championships to find a date. They're a fast crowd. <laughs> Well, in case you're curious about the correct answer, the Stag Bowl is the Division III football championship game. And I could say something funny about all the big, sweaty Division III champions you're going to be going home with, but you've never heard of any of them. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. 
Here's the category. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's an Olympic athlete. Okay, swing this one, and I'll give you 2000 bucks. Okay, you know that Nuprin is little, yellow, and different. Muhammad Ali was a lean, mean fighting machine, and you can take a sad song and make it better, better, better. If you were like the Olympic motto, what would you be? Bigger, quicker, smarter, larger, meaner, tougher, faster, higher, stronger, or quicker, picker, upper? Bigger, quicker, smarter. You're not feeling any of those right now, are ya? <laughs> Shoulda picked this. Faster, higher, stronger. You're either an Olympic athlete or Colonel Steve Austin. Okie do- 18. The category is... I want my quarterback. You get this toughie and I'll give you $6,000. Everything in place? Cause here she comes. If you had a quarter for every quarterback taken before Dan Marino in the 1983 draft, what could you buy? A $5... Five QBs went before Marino. John Elway, Jim Kelly, Tony Eason, Ken O'Brien, and Todd Blackledge. That's enough for a $1.25 subway token. <laughs> so, you could buy a subway token. And I'm guessing Marino could buy the subway. Okay. 19 here! Get your ice cold 19! And this category is... Man, that's really dumb. And I'll pay you $4,000 if you get this one right. All right, listen to this. In the early days of football, instead of four downs to get 10 yards, you had three downs to gain five yards to keep possession. What was the other official way for a football team to maintain possession of the ball? Keep the ball from the opponent for 10 seconds, punt the ball to themselves, lose 10 yards and three downs. Strangely enough, that's a game called Keep Away. Here's a game called Take Away. <laughs> And here's the right answer. If you lost 10 yards and three downs, you got a first down. If they had that rule today, the Jets would be perennial contenders. Category time, what's it gonna be? 20. This one's gonna be trash talk. And this one shouldn't be too tough. 4K for this one. Guess what? It's time to go through a sports celebrity's trash. Let's see what we got here. I see a world championship medal, looks silver, an empty box of stay free maxi pads, a press pass, and a very small green elf outfit. Who would throw away all this great <laughs> Let's take a look at the big money answer. Kathy Rigby, world class gymnast, feminine hygiene spokesperson, commentator, and Peter Pan. Yeah, but could she fly without wires? I doubt it. How about it? Hit me with a can- The attack is upon you. Oh, you already got the rules down, huh? Well, let's not waste time. Match on this. So how'd you get your gold medal? Do you want a medal? You must survive the attack. Player, you ever hear that expression, just scratching the surface? Well, maybe you'll get that far next time. Or maybe not, since it seems to me that... You don't know Jack! Okay, 
Uh, great show, everybody. Great show. Um, cue the commercials, please. Thank you. And Cookie, um, can you give me uh, can you give me some information about these contestants? What's going on? All right. If you want to play again, you just gotta let me know whenever you're ready. Okay. I guess it shook my confidence.